Now let's split a design in half. You might be wondering why you would ever need to do this. When a creating a design that's going to be 3D printed, one thing you need to consider is overhang. Overhang is what happens when there is a part of your design that doesn't touch the work plane and instead hangs over it. A traditional 3D printer will print from the bottom of the object upwards. If your design has overhang, then there will not be a solid surface for the filament to lay on, which will cause printing issues. The most common solution to overhang is to use supports with the print, which is something I'll talk about in another video. Supports can be a hassle to clean, so one alternative would be to split your design in two, print both halves, and then glue them back together. Splitting designs eliminates some of the cleanup that comes with using supports. Let's take a look at how we can do this. To split your design, the first step we need to do is to pull out a whole box. Once you have a whole box on the work plane, we need to go ahead and make sure that the size of the box can cover the whole entire design. This looks about right. The next step is to have the box cover half of the design. Where it covers needs to be where you'd like to split your object. So I'm going to be splitting this vertically. I'm checking from all angles to make sure that it's covered approximately in the middle and it looks good. So the next step is to select both and group. Once the object is grouped, we need to duplicate this half of the object. We can do that using the copy and paste icon, or you can select the object and use control C and then control V. Take the duplicate and move it over to the side so that there's a good amount of space in between. Now, once this duplicate is selected, click on ungroup. This will bring the hole back. It's important not to move this hole. We're simply going to select it, and then using the black square on the left, we're going to drag all the way over to the other side, and now our hole covers the other half of the design. Now select both objects and click on group. We now have two halves of the same design. The last step we need to do is to orient these two halves so that the flat side is laying against the work plane. If you were to 3D print this object, this would make for the easiest 3D printing. To do so, select your object and rotate it 90 degrees so that the flat part of the half is facing downward. Select the D key to then drop the object to the work plane. Now we will do the same process with the other half. Again, we are going to select the D key to drop the design. And there you have it. Now we have a successfully split design that's ready to be printed.